What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome, and today we have Cross RC. This is the Emo AT4. It's a 1 10 scale off-road RC model. This model that I have here is gonna be the kit version. So I wanna put this thing together, kinda of digging that. Clear body it will come with, but this does come in RTR, ready to run with a blue body with a white topper and also an orange body with the white topper. Really cool, so I'll put the links down in the description if you guys wanna grab one from us at omgrc.com. Now this thing's four x four, two-speed transmission, so we got some servos here for our two-speed transmission and also remote locking differentials, so we, can, we got the other servo for that one. Portal axles to give us that nice ground clearance, so I'm liking that. Now we got another servo for our steering Got this little high-tech one here. Don't think it's waterproof, but we'll have to just kind of keep an eye on where we go off-roading yeah. at. This one's a hobby wing system. We do carry this on our website. This is the uh, Quick Run Fusion. And what is that all about? So it's a two-in-one. So if you're looking limited on spaces, it already has the electronic speed controller and also you got your motor. Now, this is gonna be a crawler motor, so it's not gonna go fast and things like that. It's 1800 kV, it's a 40 amp. It comes with a little programming card, but there's that. So I'm gonna be sticking this in there. And then also we have our Fly Sky. This is our FS GT5. It's a six channel radio. We're gonna need that for all the stuff we're gonna be putting on this thing as far as you know all the servos go. And then we have our little receiver here, six channel, so we can plug in a bunch of servos to it. So let's take a look at the back side of this thing just to kind of show you guys the artwork and stuff like that. So you can kind of see it. Anyway, it's got our steel uh, ladder frame chassis there. 314 millimeters, not too bad. And speaking of, as far as more information, this box weighs like 10 pounds, seven ounces. I weighed it before the video, because this, I was like, geez, this thing's heavy. So anyway, there's our unlocking, or our locking differentials. So we got the front and rear for the cables. And uh, yeah, let's get, we're gonna get this thing out. But uh, I wanna show you that as far as, I like this too. So it has the inner fenders. I'm a big fan of the inner fender. Inner fenders, why? So that way when you do go through mud, you don't get it all inside. So without further ado, let's get this sucker out of the all box. Right, so man. what does it come with? Manual, I gotta say this is probably like the nicest manual as far as how this thing's put together. Really nice. So you, it smells good too. So anyway, if you're into things smelling good, this book smells pretty good. <laughs> as far as I, I know it's being weird. All right, so there we go. What we got here, this look like the running boards, things like that. Looks to be like battery tray. Our sliders looks to be cool. Our masking off our body, already pre-cut out. That's nice. Got some stickers, nothing too fancy, but there's some stickers, you know. All right, oh, what else do I have here? Okay, yeah, here's our inner fenders. Cool, man, these things are pretty big. Wow, this thing's big. Let's get to these tires anyhow. I want to get to those. Those look nice. We'll have to see how they perform, but I'm not much of an off-roading kind of guy, you know, as far as my area in Florida. So just kind of give you that heads up on that. And at least where I'm at, tires smell good. Smell like rubber. Smells good. <laughs> All right, chrome bumper. We're gonna have to do something about this part of it. We're gonna have to sand this thing up or paint it or scuff it up and then go ahead and make it look old. So I want to do something like that too. So throw that input in there. It's like something for the grill. Maybe, maybe, I don't know yet. We'll have to, when I get this thing all put together. So see about that. Here's some LED lights, Velcro strap. So yeah, this thing comes with LEDs, man. Really cool. There you go, you can see more of the LEDs on the other side of it. Pretty well packaged. We got some oils in here. We got here a 15 weight. Man, it's pretty thin. Anyway, might I don't know. It looks like kind of a... Lost a little bit of our oil in this packaging here. You can see that or not, but we're a little bit low on the old oil. Eh, that's not good. I can see how it kind of oozed out of there. All right, well, moving forward. And more hardware, screws, that kind of stuff. Ooh, those are nice as far as the little emblems. So they look kind of like a chrome looking or uh, aluminum. All right, motor. So yeah, it does come with the motor. It's a 35 turn brushed motor. Already mounted up to our transmission. Cool. It's like a transfer case right here. Digging it. Our light buckets, we can put those LEDs in. I don't have to buy LEDs for that's kind of cool. All right, something else. Not a shock tower or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'll put those aside. All right, then our 
our drive shafts. Uh, these, as far as the material wise, I think it's kind of a it's kind of a hybrid between metal and plastic. So that's that. Our springs, lots of those. Our aluminum shocks, caps, all that good stuff, all aluminum. Looks nice. Have to see how that kind of goes. Um, yeah, that looks good. What we got here? Some more something to do with maybe lights. Me, eh, I don't know, something like that. There's some more parts. Lots of parts, lots of parts. I'm, I'm down for the parts, man. That's for sure. What else we got? More stuff for our body. I would like, I would like to mount the body like with magnets or something. So you get used to like Velcro and magnets and that's that. All these like um, tie rods. Dude, these things are all metal. They're pretty heavy too. So it's not like I feel like they're steel. I don't think they're like aluminum. They've got weight to them. So that's nice. Speaking of weight, this is where half the weight feels like it's in. Is these steel. These gotta be, these are steel. There's no way these are aluminum. It's too much, it's too heavy. Really nice. So it's gonna keep that weight down low. These heavy freaking steel rims. Wow, that's really nice. I mean, in, a, in this kit. I'm really surprised. When I saw that, I was like, wow, I can't believe that. So cool. Excited, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be just so we can adjust our shock points and things like that. Looks like for our transfer case, this little spot here. That's what I guess. Lots of other screws and hardware. Yes. What else we got? It? Oh yeah, here we go. Man, these things, are, they got some pretty good weight to them. All right, let's take one of these things out. We gotta look at this thing. Let's take a look, let's look. look. Double. Mm. Extra protection here, double bagged. All right, uh, all right, it is plastic. Okay, we can kind of see that. Smooth. Might have to open them up just to see if they're, but they're already put together. So you don't have to, but I think what I'll do is go ahead and tear them apart and make sure there's grease in there because I don't know how much is in there from factory. And uh, hopefully, that, you know, we don't. This it looks like the cable's pretty good. You know, hopefully that, that doesn't break. Hopefully that's not an issue of some sort. You know, as far as those cables breaking. So we'll see, even the, seem like they're probably metal. Yeah, they're metal. So these are gonna be, I hope so, if the wheels were. So these are just your hexes, the 12 millimeter hexes. So those are aluminum. Cool, that's the extra bag. And our, this is our, our frame, our chassis, sorry, chassis. And you got a little marking there for the cross RC. Nice, it's pretty big, pretty long. All right, and then our body itself. And you know, obviously being clear, you can't really make much of it. Anyway, that's gonna wrap it up. So uh, yeah, leave comments down below if what you think about this vehicle in a positive way. And uh, we'll catch you real soon, guys, appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and go to our website, omgrc.com. We even do payment plans for these things. All of the web stuff that's on the website, you can buy now, kind of pay later deal. Split it all up kind of deal. Anyway, you guys take care. Later.